Ukraine's ambassador to Ankara Vassil Bodner made striking statements about Turkey's national warplane KAAN. When asked will Ukraine buy Khan in the future, Bodner's answer was we will not only buy it, but also use it. We also know where we will use it. I believe that Khan has the full potential to compete with F-35 and F-22, and this is the story of the future. That's why, as we say, if we succeed in making this a success story and prevent the influence of third parties in both the East and the West, we will be one of the strongest in the region. Yes, there is a kind of consortium of Ukrainian companies competing with other international and domestic manufacturers for this engine. But Ukraine has experience and a good partner label and we can quickly produce equipment equipped with the necessary features that are much needed for this aircraft. Such a development will also bring a strong added value for the Turkish side. You will see what is used by both Ukraine and Turkey for the benefit of our countries. But let's also say that this story will continue. Because I believe that the high-tech development between our countries is just the beginning. We are also interested in Technofest. We are also interested in creating new technology centers for the development of new industries and for our young people to have knowledge about high technology and aviation. Although war has a terrible side, it also triggers innovations very strongly and these innovations need to be managed properly. We already have some state institutions, some private initiatives, and if we combine our efforts we will be the leader in the region. This is also the story of the future. It is also the case in construction. Because it will not be like old Soviet type factories. It will work for mutual benefit. Turkish Air Force commands inventory of F-16 aircraft, which are planned to be phased out gradually from the 2030s, will be replaced by a warplane designed and developed with domestic capabilities and capabilities. And our company is the main contractor in the KAAN development project, which was launched to produce this warplane and to create the human resources and infrastructure that can design and develop this warplane. In the project, Turkey will take its place among the limited number of countries with the infrastructure and technology to produce a fifth generation fighter aircraft in the world, such as the USA, Russia, China, with the capabilities to be gained in technology areas such as low visibility, internal weapon bay, high maneuverability, increased situational awareness and sensor fusion, which should be in a new generation aircraft. KAAN is expected to serve in a compatible manner with other warplanes, unmanned aerial vehicles and airborne early warning and control platforms in the inventory of the Turkish Air Force Command and other elements planned to be supplied, and the aircraft to be produced are expected to be in the inventory of the Turkish Air Force Command until the 2070s. The KAAN development project contract was signed with SSB on August 5th. 2016 and the work is carried out with all stakeholders who have a role in the project, mainly the main contractor TUSA. The current contract covers the preliminary design phase, which is part of the development and production process. During this period, the design of the air vehicle, engineering, technology, test infrastructures and certification processes are aimed to be developed and the capability to design and develop a fighter aircraft is aimed.